Hey guys, welcome to Whiskey and Literature. I'm your host, Captain Mike, and I'm excited because the work day's over, and tonight we are drinking whiskey. And it's High West in the house, so you know I'm super excited. And no, we're not doing rye tonight, even though rye is kind of when we think about High West, we think about the rye whiskeys. They're really a rye forward company, but they do make a bourbon. Oh, well, let me rephrase that. They do sell a bourbon. High West Bourbon, as far as I understand it, is the only product that High West does sell that has no High West distillates in it. It is a blend of straight bourbons from MGP and undisclosed other, due to contractual reasons, from other distilleries. But let's talk about what we have here. Do I have a preference? Though that's not really the point. It's more about what do I think about these two whiskeys and should you pick them up, should you run across them? What we have here is the High West Cask Collection. It's their bourbon finished in Cabernet Sauvignon, however you say that. And this is their bourbon finished in port barrels. High West has had their barrel select program for quite a while now, as far as I know. I'm a big fan of their finished whiskeys, their barrel select program. It's a little higher proof generally, and they do a really nice job, except for a couple expressions that I've had at the saloon. I really enjoyed almost all of the High West finished program, finished whiskeys that I've had. And I think this cask collection is a new, I'm not sure if that's replacing the barrel select program or if it's just an additional lineup in the High West line of products. This bottle here I've had for a number, at least a year at the house. This I picked up when I was out in Utah for the holidays. And so let's talk about how these whiskeys are similar and then how they're different and then get it. Okay, so how they are similar, they are both not High West distillates, a blend of straight bourbons from uh, MGP and undisclosed distilleries. They're both non-H dated, minimum of two years old. And that's pretty much where the similarity ends. And I believe High West lab started labeling their whiskey differently early last year. If you look at the double rye, for example, and even the bourbons, they changed their label early 2022, and they no longer say not chill filtered on them. Whether that means that High West stopped uh, or started chill filtering their whiskey, or they are still not chill filtered, honestly, at this point, I don't know. But on this Barrel Select bottle, it does say non chill filtered. And on this one, it doesn't say not chill filtered and I can't find any information on this on the website and so I don't know whether it's chill filtered or not if that does make a difference to you. This one here I've had for quite a while again barrel select program I paid $64.99 for this bottle and I do see quite a few of the high west finished products in the area and prices really vary depending on which if it's the rye or the double rye or the rendezvous rye or the bourbon and they run about 55 to over $100 depending on which one it is and where I find it at. I have been a big fan of these through the times. Uh, the rum finish is really great. Uh, the port finish is good. I've heard the Manhattan is great and I'm really looking for the double rye finished in port. It's kind of like a baby midwinter night's dram but I haven't seen those on a shelf anywhere but if you find one you should pick it up. And this was finished for nine months in port barrels. The cask collection was finished in Cabernet cask. It doesn't say how long it was finished. I paid $69.99 for this at the state run liquor store. So that is MSRP for this. I was gonna buy three of these bottles if I didn't find a Midwinter Nights Dram when I was in Utah, but I did pick up three of the Midwinter Nights Drams instead. Okay, let's get it. High West Barrel Select Port Finished. I do like their Midwinter Nights Dram, which is the Rendezvous Rye, also finished in port. And I feel like the port is strong enough to stand up, or the rye is strong enough to stand up to the port. The port is more forward in this bottle than in the Midwinter Nights Dram, because I think the port is able to run over the bourbon a little bit more. High West Bourbon is a decent bourbon. It doesn't really have anything that makes it stand out. Maybe a few years ago, it was kind of more unique 
but now it is a fairly, um, it has an MGP bourbon and more and more distilleries are selling the MGP distillates and there really isn't nothing, there really isn't anything that makes the High West bourbon stand out. I find it to be a bit flat and plain and uh, thin on the nose and this Port finish really elevates the whiskey, I think. The port is really forward on the nose. Got some berries on the nose. It's bright. Just a hint of chocolate. And then some of those traditional um, bourbon notes, just a bit of caramel on there. This port finished bourbon is a significant upgrade to the typical just high west bourbon. Cheers. So it was finished for nine months in that port and it does carry over, I think, pretty well those notes and it does complement the bourbon and the port together. You have some more of those uh, dried fruits on the palate. I'm not going to say it's grassy, maybe uh, it's uh, earthy instead. It's kind of an earthy uh, texture to it. It has a nice viscosity. Oh, I'm sorry, this is 49. And come on, High West, you are writing these ABVs with a blunt magic marker. And I honestly can't tell if that says 49.4 or 49.9 ABV. But either one of those, it is a significant upgrade to the typical High West bourbon ABV, I believe of 44. Oh, that's the high country. I think it's 46 on the ABV, typically on the bourbon. But this is a nice upgrade. And you can tell a bit with the uh, viscosity. I feel like it is just a little more viscous, has a little bit better mouthfeel. And uh, this I, I think is a pretty, pretty nice pour and I'm always uh, happy to have this and I do have a backup for this. And whenever I see any port finished High West products, I do pick those up. This is the first Cabernet finished one and I've, you know, I've had a couple pours from this and I thought, cause I don't drink a lot of red wine. So I was thinking, oh, it's a red wine, a red wine, probably a pretty good, matchup but of course if you drink cabernet and you drink port you know those are two very very distinct wines and of course they both complement the bourbon in different ways and i didn't mention this is 100 proof whiskey so 50 abv just slightly i mean it's pretty equivalent to the barrel select one there the bourbon's a little more prominent in this one than in this one i it doesn't say how long this was finished in the Cabernet uh, barrels. This one we know was nine months finishing. Uh, it doesn't say on the website or anything on the barrel of, or the bottle any indication of the finishing time. It is a, it's a fainter nose than this one. I think the port is just so present. The Cabernet is just a little more muted. And instead of berries on the nose, I get more of a more of a cherry note. And maybe a like a like a dull floral note. So cherries and florals on the nose. Cheers again. I think the Cabernet allows the High West bourbon to come through a little bit more. There is some cinnamon, a little bit of spice on here, some more cherry. It's a little bit of lighter in viscosity, I feel like, than the port finished bourbon, this Cabernet. I think it's just a little bit thinner. Again, don't know the finishing time. It is, it's a completely different uh, pour than this one. It just, that bourbon's a little more forward. The Cabernet's a little more muted. A little thinner of viscosity, but still a nice pour. For $69, I'm, I'll say I'm glad I didn't buy three of these bottles. I'm glad I found the Midwinter Nights Drams. Instead, 
had I bought three of these, that would have been fine. I would have just drank them a little faster. Um, I do prefer perhaps the port finished over the Cabernet. It's just a little more present. And I think that bourbon complement, I mean, is complemented by the port a little bit better than the Cabernet. But it is a preference thing if you like it a little less sweet, because this is a bit sweeter, I think, with those port notes. And I would say this Cabernet finish is just a little drier on the palate and it feels a little thinner of viscosity as well. You know, though, I, I do like how the High West Bourbon has some of those rye notes in there as well. There's a bit more spice on this one, perhaps a bit of cinnamon. And despite being a little thinner, maybe drier, it is a nice pour. So it depends on your preference, obviously. I, I'm happy to have either one of these. I'm glad I have them. I'm glad I have them to contrast. And I don't know if High West, again, is going away from the Barrel Select program. I also have their Cask Strength Bourbon, which, sorry, High West, you guys know how much I'm a fan, but the Cask Strength Bourbon, to this point, the pours that I've had have been rather disappointing. Just, uh, just hasn't been, maybe this needs to open up a little bit more or something, but that has been a little disappointment to me up to this point. But I think this Cabernet finished uh, bourbon is pretty great. If you happen to see one on the shelf and it's MSRP for $69, I think you should pick it up and give it a try. I know a lot of guys don't like or don't, don't uh, enjoy or buy regularly finished whiskeys. I do have quite a few in my house and I do like them. I'm happy to drink just a straight bourbon or a straight rye, but I think occasionally for a nice little twist, having a finished whiskey is pretty great. And if you have friends at, who come over to your house and they wanna drink some of your whiskey, you wanna take some whiskey to some of your friends and they don't really like the straight bourbons and the straight rye, and you don't wanna take necessarily a flavored whiskey, I think having a nice, Finished whiskey is kind of a nice compromise, right? You have a friend who likes to drink wine, take them a port or a Cabernet finish, whatever their preference is. And maybe that's a nice uh, bridge to get them more into the regular rice and whiskeys. But guys, that's, uh, that's it for me tonight. I've, uh, I'm happy to have these and I'm happy to have them on my shelf. Just add to my High West collection. I think I just counted a couple of nights ago. I'm uh, 29 bottles of High West at my house. Uh, a big fan. So, but you know what to do, my guys. I hope you're reading something good and drinking something great. Turn the page and stay thirsty. Cheers.